Welcome back. Today I'm going to turn that filing cabinet and these spare parts into this. What all do we got here? We got an old bed frame here, some casters, and we got this cabinet. Which I think it's, I don't know, five feet tall, 19 deep ish, 36 wide. Um, I got the cabinet dirt cheap off of Facebook, and I guess my goal of this video is just to see if I can take this thing with minimal investment and see if I can sell this on Facebook for a profit. I don't know. Let's get started. So we grind these rivets here and there. And I need two chunks that are 36 and two that are 18 to go around that thing so I can weld the casters to. And why am I working on the floor? Got a table. There. Now I got something I can work on. Now let's try that again. We got steel cut. Now we're gonna line it up best we can. Which there's gonna be some overlap. And these fancy bolts here I use as my jig seem to do just fine. Looks good. someone saying didn't you just put that on the top yeah I did but it's the same as the bottom let's get the wheels on this guy so the wheels we're just gonna kind of cheat you know, they don't have to be great so after I put the wheels here they will buzz that in there if I can find my buzz stick So that, take care of, cares, that takes care of the wheels. I'll get there eventually. Um, so we'll flip this up and we'll get it on the base of the cabinet. And then we'll start getting the cabinet cleaned up and uh, ready for paint. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, let's get this cleaned up and get the paint on it. I'm going to use an SO, or SOS, <laughs> scotch fry pad to scuff this. Maybe a panel stick. over the bottom of this. I'm just gonna rattle can it real quick. Looks like somebody already painted it gray once before. So well, this will blend in nicely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Making it brand new. So we got red tractor paint. I have white tractor paint and I also have blue tractor paint. 
I'm feeling a white cabinet. Kind of goes with everything. I don't know how uh, much to cut this. Uh, remove loose paint. Did that. Apply primer. Right, bare metal. Nope. Stir. Yep. May recoat when dry within 24 hours. Well, let's get a coat on this thing. See how it does. I don't know what the ratio should be. No, nope. what my dad always told me is two glugs. Seems fine. I don't think I've ever actually used this gun. Let's try it. Out right of the back. Well, we just finished painting, and uh, it came out pretty good. It's out here in the sun. It's kind of hard to see. The camera ducked out. I'm going to let thermonuclear hot. But this is our cabinet. It's getting fly stuff in it, which is nice. Lots of bugs. Well, it's just dry overnight. And see how it does tomorrow. And based on what we have tomorrow, we'll throw this on Craigslist. Or Facebook. Or something that sells things to people for money. So we'll give it a shot. All right, till tomorrow. It's a couple days later, and then the last thing you saw was me painting this and the camera cut out. Uh, but it's all done. It's all white. It actually came out pretty, pretty good. I mean, nothing fancy, old metal cabinet. Again, ten dollars off the Facebook. Um, inside, whatever. You know, it is what it is. However, an update. So I listed this on Facebook, and I've got a couple bites. But everyone's number one complaint is there's no shelves. So the easy way to add shelves is I bought this guy, actually four of these. Bought them from Menards. Pretty cheap, a couple bucks a piece. Uh, probably two dollars a piece. Dollar forty? Doesn't matter. Anyways, cheap. And they come with little clips. I don't have any right here. Oh, there's one. Come with little tiny clips. So they're adjustable. So you just, you know, bang, adjustable shelving. So we're gonna add adjustable shelving to this thing. Attach them, we're using 1034 by half uh, machine screws uh, because, well, because I had them and they're free. But I found this box that I forgot I had all together. Uh, I did have to go out and buy some uh, lock nuts, 1024. So this way we put these through here, we're not going to need a washer. And what happens is it just effectively comes right through. So let's finish getting this fastened on and we'll make some shelves. So, what are we going to do for shelves? I don't know. I got some scrap wood laying around here. We'll see what it is. But what I remembered or forgot is I got a couple sheets of this half inch uh, <clears throat> hanging out that actually somebody else gave me for free. Uh, I don't typically use half inch because it's pretty flimsy and it's well, it's good for subfloor some places. Actually, no, laminate maybe. I don't know. It's not really good for a lot of stuff. It doesn't really no strength to it. However, it's gonna work great for these shelves. Damn it! Tip number two. We're gonna test fit the shell. That's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. However, it's kind of flimsy. So let's see if we can stiffen that up on the cheap. So I've got a pile of just scrap material for whatever reason, and as I look through here, there's a couple things. One, I've got a few short pieces of one inch angle iron aluminum, and I think this will work great for a front edge on the shelf. The other one, um, just because it's here, but I'm never going to use it, is also a piece of aluminum. This is actually the top track to a closet door, sliding closet door. Uh, it's aluminum, and it's got this profile to it which will add strength, but I'm not going to use the whole thing because I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible. 
We're actually going to take this, put it in this table saw, and rip it in half. So basically we'll have two more pieces of angled aluminum for the back side. It's not fancy, but it'll add a ton of strength. So the nice part about aluminum is you can cut it with an ordinary saw. However, wear eye protection. Now I found these wonderful things for painting. It only look like I'm in a chemistry, chemistry experiment. It's going to look great. So for these shelves, like I said, we're going to put this angle iron on the front side and we'll put the stuff we just cut, the old uh, closet railing on the back side. But this front side, if you check a look, it'll give you a nice little lip right here. So when you're wheeling that bad boy around, your stuff doesn't slide off. There you have custom shelf. The grab handle on one side, if you don't like that, you got a nice soft handle on the other side. Now I could have mounted this underneath and gave this an aluminum face, but I don't care. Maybe we'll do it on the other one. Let's get this installed and see how see how sturdy it is. Alright. So oh, here we go. There. Worked out perfect. All right, I'm gonna make uh, one more of those. Just finished the second shelf. Uh, I'm gonna throw the tabs in, throw it in there. I also realized that if you put the metal on the bottom, I can use less screws because the downward pressure is gonna hold it against it anyways. Ah, it's cheaper all the time. There's those tabs. like it. Well there you have it. This project's pretty much wrapped up. We're going to get this thing listed and hopefully get it sold and make, I don't know, anywhere from I'd say 25 to 50 bucks. Yeah, is it worth my time to do it? Probably not, but I had nothing else to do. I'm kind of waiting on parts to show up for a few other things I want to work on and get back to. So when we get back to that, we'll get those posted and uh, yeah, we'll get some more videos coming your way. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Uh, if you got any comments, put them down in the comment section and help grow the channel. Again guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next project.